Hey, Joshua, how are you? Hey, how's it going, Chase? Good. I'm, yeah, great to hear from you. I'm, I'm good as well. Very nice. Awesome. No, it's great to have this opportunity to chat with you. I've just set up a business recently, so looking to learn from your experience here. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Awesome. Okay, shall I, shall I kind of introduce what's going on so far with my business? Yeah, so I, I read a little bit about what you're saying. You said you have 600 you know, users hit the site, no sales. You sell yeah. you know, different animated text backgrounds. Is that correct? Does yeah, that yeah. Sense? Uh huh. Uh huh. And so you're essentially looking to get, you know, actual sales and make a return on ad. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I've gone through everything. I pretty much know exactly what the issue is. So, okay. Oh, I don't wow. know if you want to, you know, say anything or if you're just comfortable with me starting. If you I mean, you, I, I assume you've already gone through my website. You probably clicked through on the link. That's right. Uh, well, yeah, I'm happy to just listen to, to what do you think is the issue? It sounds like you found it out already. <laughs> so yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to you. No, totally. And I, I have somebody in this, not in the same space, but they're in, you know, they sell like uh, loot packs. So I'll just show you. Okay. So they sell like loot packs, like, you know, Melody, okay. those 77, you know. Oh, yeah. Right? For like music. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So let's look at, uh, so this is your site, correct? Yeah. You have a really good site. I mean, the branding's great. I really like it. I think that there's just a few things that we need to really do. Um, okay. One is, so your your text bundles are, you have 55 reveals, 40 text backgrounds, 35 animated text forms. Yeah. This only shows, you need to be able to show a ton of different styles. So, okay. like, are you on Shopify? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So like in that image section, you need to add like, you know, at least another like 10 totally different ones underneath. So that way people get a good idea of what they're buying. Yeah. This description here needs to be underneath the buttons. You should go ahead okay. and flip this background to white, honestly, just as a test. So okay. Your add to cart button pops out because you can't see your add to cart button. Your pricing needs okay. to be cut down. Yeah. Um, you need to sell this for a lot less, but okay. you're going to get a ton of sales because we're going to do it right. You know, we price okay. it much lower and we talk about how many, you know, backgrounds they get. And this is like audio. This is, this is, sorry, this is text effects for Adobe After Effects, right? Yeah, correct. Yeah. So we need to list out all the reasons why people use Adobe After Effects. Like, is it, you know, who uses that? Is it video? Yeah. It, you know, um, people who shoot music videos? Is it people who are, you know, working at sporting yep. events and they need it for their, you know, event? What is it? Yep. What is it? And so forth. All of this is good. This is super cool. You need to mention all these items up closer to here. This is fine. This is fine. This is perfect. All of this is good. We just need to slice your pricing. We need to get more images of the different text in these boxes. We need to make your add to cart pop. We need to make this background white. And mm -hmm. we need to list the number in front of this. See how it says 77 here? We need to list uh, the number. Yeah. Okay. So we need to add up all those numbers and put them here. And then we need to remove, it says tax included. Yeah. Okay. I would just remove the word tax included, but. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. I think that just came with the template. So I, I'll have to look into how to get rid of that. Yeah. And then we need to add like, you know, the safe checkout stuff where, you know, what payment methods they can use. And then we need to slice, slice it just how you have here, except say it's like a sale, right? Yeah, yeah. And then that's really what just needs to be done on your site. <laughs> I mean, you pretty much okay. have all the right pieces. You just are like a couple of tweaks off from this thing just selling off. Yeah. Those. So do you think it, it's mainly the product pages that are, that are the problem rather than the home That's page? correct. Yeah, you should have okay. to sell 21% off like right next to this, you know? Mm, yeah. But it's going to be even bigger because you're going to drop all of your prices. I mean, you need to cut all your prices more than a half. Okay, more than a half, yeah. Yeah, yeah. because you, you've already made them, you know? You're going to make yeah, a yeah, margin on true. these suckers once you're scaling them. Yeah, it's and true. You put 55 true. animated text reveals get 55 animated text reveals for, you know, blank. And it's like 70% off people are going to trip. 
Yeah. This is what, good. What, what do you think would be a good price point for these types of products? Uh, well, upsells is going to be the name of the game. Yeah. So like, look how low price these are. Mm -hmm. 97, yeah. 27, 19, but yeah. nowhere near as many as you're providing. So I mean, like, yeah. you know, if you price yours at like $19, I mean, people are going to trip. Yeah. And then you're going to offer all these other, you know, additions with it. And people are just going to be like super static to get all of it. Yeah. Awesome. It's super awesome though. Is your pixel active on the site? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Okay. Nice. Yep. 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 Okay. I love everything else. You do a great job. Okay. Awesome. I was worried that the, because I've got a lot of video content, obviously, um, with reason because it's, it, there are video assets, but I was worried that the site would be running a little bit slow because Shopify was telling me that I've got you, a speed score of 35. The images you should use should be the just screenshots like this for the images. The first okay. one can be like a little, you know, a transition like this, but the rest of them underneath need to be all images. Like okay. right here, these little box. So like if you had a product, like it would be boxes yeah. underneath. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, uh, okay. Like on each image, little image. Oh, and those should be images. I'm with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like it would be like this. This would be one box. That'd be an image. This would be a box. That'd be an image. This would be a box. That'd yeah. be an image. Could uh -huh. be I, I'm with you. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So that's what you need to do there. When I add to cart, yeah. you need to have an upsell in your cart. Okay. But what, what should that look like? And this a cart needs to be wide as well. So it'll say like in cart upsell. So here, for instance, let's just go here as an example. Add to cart. Right. Just wait a minute. Sorry. So here's an upsell. But another um, way to do it is this way. So I would prefer this way. Let me show you one moment. So if I go to add this item to cart mm -hmm. here, add to cart, see the upsells. Uh, okay. And now I get another one and it's like, oh, another one. Well, why not? Check out. <laughs> I go to check out, you know, I complete this stuff. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I've got literally zero, well, hardly any following on social media. I, I have no idea how to boost that. <laughs> yeah, you got to get this going. You know, when you grow that, for sure. What's your budget? Um. Yeah, I can. I can spend like a, like a, maybe a, yeah, a couple, a couple hundred a month. I reckon. On ads. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you have all the pieces. I assume your background's in design. Yeah. In editing. I mean, you're, you've obviously developed your craft quite well. I would recommend even doing a project for somebody for like a couple thousand dollars just so that way you can have some more cash to use for this. Mm, yeah. Well, how much would you recommend is, is worth investing into ads to really see this, you know, a couple thousand for sure. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the person that I just showed you that has that, oh, in this right here, this offer shouldn't be 23 hours. It should be like 10 minutes max. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 10 minutes. Right here. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Yeah. And now if we want to look at your ads real quick. Uh, yeah. Do, do you have, you have access to see the ads on, yes. on your side? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll pull it up. You're running these in the U S correct. Yeah. I've, I've put them across the U S the UK and Australia, and then just focused it on English speaking.
it doesn't show you're running any ads on my screen. Uh, to be fair, sorry, I literally just turned them off last night. Okay, um, let's share your screen. Okay, cool. I'll do that. Um, what's the best way to do this? Probably just play the actual files, I guess. Um, bear with me here. Okay, have I got the access to share? Yeah. So for example, here's one. Let's go to your ads manager. What's that, sorry? Let's go to your ads manager. Okay. But would the ads manager, okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And so, all right, let me just request remote control here. Yeah. What kind of computer is this? Uh, it's an MSI laptop. Okay. Oh, I was wondering if it's the pixels are translating weird on my screen. I've never seen it. Oh, before. really? I just, I, I had it a little bit smaller. There we go. Now it's oh, okay. Maybe that's a little Maybe bit that's better. a bit better. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah, all this is set up wrong. Did you join my course? Uh, no, but I did. definitely need to. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. If you want to, you know, get a good ROI, then for sure. Hmm. Yeah. I've been watching some of your YouTube videos, so I've been picking yeah. up bits here and there. Right. Huh. It's having a hard time loading, it looks like. It's weird. It's usually not like this. Okay, we'll just ignore this. What we'll do instead is open up like a Google Docs. Okay. Or a sh yeah, like there you go. That's fine. And we'll just go in there and we'll actually just use a Google Sheet, probably easiest. Yeah, type in sheets.google. That's probably going to be best. Okay. Yeah. And then we'll just, we're going to create an ad real quick, just as an example. So that way you have something to work with. All right. Okay. It's going to be your primary text. Give me one second. All right, so we'll do something like this. Get how many, do you know what these, what's all included on like one of these? Uh, you have to click in to get the exact numbers. I've uh, forgotten. It's a big number. Yeah, there you go. 
All right, so we'll go and say something like this. We got to tell them what they're getting. So get 130. Mm -hmm. What are these called? Text effects? Uh, I've called them animation templates. Um, let's see. And then I'm going to put the dollar sign on my end, but you're going to change that to pounds for you, you know? Yeah. Yes. I'm just do this and then we're going to go, we're going to format, we're going to wrap this real quick. So if I'm going for the big bundle for thereabouts 19, do you think the, the smaller packages should be say about five, four dollars? Yeah, no, like 19 should be your low or seven. Yeah, four, you can test it. Just go really low on price. We can always raise it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're gonna do like, you know, um, let's see. Oh wait, it might not be the same for you. I was gonna put in a dot, but that's fine. And then we're just gonna list out, you know, all those things on your site, which would be this right here. Mm -hmm. Those things. So we just copy those. Let me go below this. After Fix has just opened up. <laughs> there we go. And then we'll say this mega. Nation text tag is for, and then you put in who's it for, list out a couple of people who would use it. Okay, like video hobbyists, I guess. Um, uh, I don't know if we, yeah, I mean, it could be to businesses as well, like uh, post production agencies, uh, content creators. Yeah, or even like myself, motion designers, motion artists, something like that. Uh, can you only use it on Adobe After Effects? Yeah, but the, uh, the the feature I put in is that it's to be used in Adobe After Effects, but then you could like render out the video to then use in your favorite uh, uh, editing software. I've seen a lot of some competitors say the same thing. All right. Okay, and then we'll do like here, and then we'll just link your page. Right. Mm -hmm. And this is, we're gonna do a bunch of copy variations. We're only gonna be able to do one on this call, but you're gonna make mm -hmm. more following this outline. You know, it's yeah, similar. okay, okay. Now I'd love, we need to do another call, honestly, just to be able to cover everything since there is a lot, but I mean, like at the end of the day, this yeah. is gonna work for you. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then now that we have that, that's that first primary text and you're gonna put in, you know, spaces between each of these once you actually- Yeah, yeah. Things. And then like your headline is gonna be like 
something along the lines of you know, get 130 text animation templates for only $19. Mm -hmm. And then CTA, CTA is going to be your description. And your description is going to be And it's Adobe After Effects, is that correct? Yeah. And then CTA is going to be like shop now. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to use like your audience targeting is going to be like Adobe products, Adobe After Effects, and you're going to layer it, that specific audience with other things like content okay. production agencies and whatnot. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, so people see people that are interested in Adobe After Effects. For yes. The audience. Yes. Yeah. And it's going to be a purchase. So the campaign type, let's do notes campaign is you're going to do purchase conversion campaign. Okay. Link to product page, right? Yep. Create five totally different ad variants. Implement upsells in cart and post purchase mm -hmm. redesign well not redesign tweak website changes mm -hmm. as we mentioned yeah do you think those. switching the background to white would be best for your product page just up here just in the space right here oh, okay just that section yeah, yeah. so your add to cart pops okay all right. You have any questions so far? Uh, no, no, I'm just happy listening, learning. <laughs> okay. So those will be, you know, the main things you need to do. You're going to make these changes to your site. Yeah. You're going to launch different ad variations. You're going to use a purchase conversion campaign, right? Okay. What, is, what does that mean? Purchase conversion? So, uh, So I'll show you real quick. You should have, so we'll just put this behind. Actually right here, it's fine, this video right here. You'll see that in the beginning of this video, we select purchase conversion campaign. You'll see. Oh, it's the type of campaign. Yeah, right? exactly. Okay, I'm with you. Okay. So what you'll end up doing. Yeah. You'll end up adding in, you know, some additional text here. You add in those images. Those are really important. You'll yeah. do like a carousel, a video, a single image. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm with you. And then you'll say like, get, you know, X, Y, Z. Yeah. The cell, the, the banner the at the top of, templates. of the, whatever the cell is. Put a banner at the top as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what should that should say something like summer sale on 10% off or something. Exactly. Like that. Exactly. Okay. And then like, you know, if you have another variation, you might do get offer as an option, learn more okay. as another one. Yeah. And with the offer, shall I just put like a, a standard 10% off that like a code that people need to enter? No, just discount it automatically. Okay. Yep. Okay. Adjust pricing. 
and then you're going to be off to the races. Okay, so it's got potential. That's good. Yeah, your set's really good. So you have a lot of opportunities here to really scale this up. Okay, awesome. Yeah, I think definitely if I can get the ball rolling a little bit, then um, uh, I'd invest more into this as well. I still feel, feel it's a little bit risky and I don't want to put too much into it and be a bit cautious with it, but yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll see how it goes. Perfect. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, if you have no other questions and, you know, you should be good to go on those items and then just keep me posted on, you know, the progress you make. And then I'd highly recommend getting into the class and us doing more calls so that way we can, you know, take this step by step. Yeah, uh, absolutely. I just wanted to ask one little thing, which is I keep seeing, because I'm conscious I need to grow my social media following. And I keep seeing this option to to go for a, like a promoted post with Facebook or Instagram. I wondered if that's something you'd recommend. It's Don't boost, it. but it, you could drive page likes to your, you know, page. Okay. You know, that's fine. You can run a campaign to get likes on your page. Uh, okay. Yeah. On your Instagram, but don't boost anything. Just run it to get like, you know, have a separate campaign just to boost up your following just so that way you have a little bit more credibility. Other than that, you should be good to go. It will. And should I just input the uh, yeah, URL of my Instagram account? Like what, what's the best uh, campaign type to set up for that? Uh, it'll be like a page likes or an engagement campaign for people who follow. Okay. Page likes for engagement campaign. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And then there's organic strategies to grow your page that you can look into online. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, no, that's great. Thank you, Joshua. Yeah, you too. Thanks for all of your help and advice. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Bye all then. right. Awesome. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and subscribe to help boost the algorithm. And if you haven't already, you should definitely sign up for Surge.io Beta. It's an ad tracking software for Facebook that's going to allow you to accurately attribute results between your Facebook ad campaigns and the actual website where you're getting the purchases so you know which audiences and ads are actually producing your results.